I feel whispers on my skin, breath fondling the pose envelope of my quivering flesh. See the veneer touched, untouched, touching around, rough, soft, irregular, wrinkled, sick skins, cold, warm, sweaty, dry skins. Skins marked, scarred, pressed, pinched, bitten. Have them exhaust the outside in. Have them exhale the rattle of my dying, aging, rotting skins. Blow upon the layers of memories deposited. Blow away the peeling traces. Blow into the laughing, yawning, panting breath on my surface. Hi there, my name is Jeanne Proust. I teach at various universities here in New York, mainly philosophy, but I also am an artist in collaboration with Sandra Stevens. Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Stevens. I teach actually at the institute right here at Pratt MWP, and I also teach on the Pratt Brooklyn campus. So we uh, came to work together on this piece with uh, one, one kind of interest of mine in photography and uh, an interest uh, by Sandra in videography. And uh, we actually were thinking about uh, different things while doing this piece, obviously. But, you know, as it goes, it's not an illustration of preconceived ideas that we had upstream. It really just like came as a, you know, work in process as we were doing the piece. The symbolics of it kind of, you know, came to us. I always had a fascination for skin and I've been sharing this with uh, Sandra who came across my photography and uh, these uh, pictures that you see here are actually taken in the Yellowstone National Park, but they also embody for me something that has to do with breathing, something that has to do with layers of memory that are actually deposited within the layers of skin. And so we began to think around like the diversity of skin, of tissue, of the various layers that are at play within the skin of, uh, uh, of the, the scars also that uh, come to play within the aging process and all this time passing and the movement within also the breathing because of the skin is you know, one of the largest organs of the human body. We tend to forget that it's even an organ, right? And it has this interface position that allows us to communicate with the external world, but also you know, um, kind of implies a certain type of sensitivity, but also emotional connection with the outside world. And so this role in between, this in-between position of the skin is, was something that interests us deeply. Yes, yes. Um, and now that we are having such a hard time touching various people around us and uh, with all these screen things, uh, I find my work is really drawn to the tactility. It has been, it has always been. And Jean's as well. I was um, I saw Jean's photographs, and they're amazing in terms of just how tactile they are. And so a big part of this piece is kind of as Jean mentioned, thinking about sensibility and thinking about touch and and thinking about um, uh, I don't know like uh, a certain kind of emotion of um, just. Hopefully, the viewer will stand in front of it and just get almost get into the piece, and that was a, a big part of it for us. Yeah, absolutely, and it's uh, it's really the the mix with the the photography, which is really a static medium, and that mixed with actually the the videography on top of it, which is barely discernible here, but it's about a face, it's about a a breathing moment as well. And so that movement within all these different layers that really look like blood vessels also. So with, there is this like circulation going on within it. And, uh, and that was something we were really excited to, uh, to work on and probably is gonna give way to other pieces in the future in Definitely. that same line, yeah. Definitely. Um, I, it's funny because it's called Breathing Skins and uh, that takes us to some of the politics of the moment with um, uh, many black men feeling they can't breathe. And so uh, even though this is a very abstract piece, politics has driven my work. And um, not as much, I guess, um, Jean, I don't know if you would want to mm. speak to that, like art as it relates to politics, because mm. you would think this is a very abstracted piece. But 
I think there is always a political you know, interpretation that can be given to art depending on the moment. And I, I enjoy the fact that this piece could be potentially read as a, as a political piece, especially in the current moment and within the context of that exhibition in this museum today. Yes, so we're part of um, Celebrating Suffrage, uh, a really great, amazing exhibition as you walk through the space um, that's celebrating the suffrage movement. Uh, you know, I was I am ambivalent about um, being a woman of color. You know, it is a movement where uh, American women, it says, was given were, were given the right to vote, but it wasn't given the right to vote to black women. So, but it, my my thoughts is that it moved us in that direction historically. You know, so yes, a lot of white women got the right to vote. And a lot of white women are very much in the cause of making sure people of color, everyone, move in this more equal um, direction. And I'm, I'm seeing, even with all the riots and all the protests and all the statements that are out there, that I am always going to hold hope that we are moving in the right direction. Mm. Especially at a time where it's extremely important to go vote. So we're proud to be part of this exhibition. We've been also working on our first exhibition with this piece in, uh, in a political setting, in a way as well, making, uh, making you know, our voices being heard as Caribbean women, along with other artists. Maybe you can say a few yeah, words about that. Yeah, so the first exhibition, or the first major exhibition of this piece was uh, called Surface Traces. And it involved various artists, including Sharon Norwood, Monica Russell, myself, and Jean. And, um, we brought together artists, women artists from the Caribbean and the Caribbean diaspora to present their work. Thank you. <laughs>